Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can integrate inline surveys and forms into the email campaign builder. Why would you want to do that? Well, let's say maybe you're running an educational online business and you are selling a paid newsletter, for example, where people can subscribe to and you teach them something about a specific topic, right? So now you can let your customers rate the content if they liked it, if you can improve it, if they didn't like it. They can give it thumbs up, thumbs down. They can give it star ratings from one to five. They can even fill out a form in the line as well. This new feature will help you to simplify the data collection, also to eliminate the need to send a separate survey. Let me show you how you can set this up. First, you want to click on marketing on the left, select emails at the top, click on campaigns, click plus new or select the existing one. Okay. In this case, you're going to select this one and here on the left, you can see all your elements. Scroll down and you can see a new element called forms. Just drag and drop it over. And here you can see on the left, the different types of service or feedback elements are showing up. Number one would be a scoring board, rate the overall performance on a scale of one to 10. Okay. So let's keep that for now. X this out so we can go back to the menu and here you can see you can edit all sorts of things. The background color is kind of pinkish. I like it. We keep it. The padding, you can change the padding here. You can change the padding left and right and um, top and bottom. And here you can title the form. Okay. So this will be used as a label for the statistics section later so that you can exactly see who clicked which number, who is happiest and who is most upset, for example, in which kind of element. Okay. Then you can keep the success page as the URL as default. On submission, the contact is directed to the default page, or you can set a custom page wherever you want to send them to. Hey, thank you for letting us know your opinion or whatever else you want to put on that page. Okay. You could also choose the visibility up here. If it should be visible in all devices, desktop only, mobile only, or you can select conditional sending, meaning that only people with a specific segment, which you would set down here, specific custom fields would see. For example, if you only want to target people in New York, you would say if the city is New York, then only people who are in New York would see this particular element. All right. Now let's add another form. Let's collect the simple like or dislike button here. You can see it looks like this. Then let's access out again so we can actually edit it. So here again, you can adjust the background color. This is grayish. Then you can adjust the icon color to whatever you want it. Let's say we want to make it green. Again, you can turn on or off the padding. This is how it looks like when it's off. Just turn it back on, look better. And here's the title for the form. It's a like or dislike form number two. Again, this will be used as a label for the statistics section. So when you go later and you check your statistics, you will know, okay, this many people clicked like or dislike in this particular form, in this particular email, right? And again, here you can also set your default page URL or custom success page URL. Let's do that. Let's hit save top right corner. Nice. Let's X this out. Let's add another form. Let's say we want to have the rating, the five star rating. Let's move this up a little bit. Let's select the stars. Okay. Let's X this out again so we can get back into the editor. Here the colors. I like the colors. Let's just keep the colors. The icon type, did you want to show yellow stars, blue stars, black, purple, you can just really select it. I like yellow really, but you can also make it green, for example, and you can see that here. Again, you can turn on or off padding if you want to make it smaller, or you can just simply adjust it here from 48 to 20, for example, right? And again, the title for the form, star rating form number three, okay? Again, as the others before, we can set a custom URL or we can keep the default. And then let's go back one more time. Let's add one last form and let's keep it at form actually. So here at the bottom here, you can see your other forms. And if you click on the element, you see the notification. You do not have any other forms linked just yet. Not to link to form. Let's scroll back up. Let's click X. And here you can see select existing form. If you click that drop down menu, you can see all your forms available that you created prior under sites on the left, forms at the top, and then build down. This is all your forms. This is where you create the form. Okay. So back to the email editor, here's where you pull the form. So let's say we're going to send out an email where we share with our customers that they can get a free dessert. And in order to get that free dessert at our restaurant, I have to just fill out this form. Okay. Now here is just a placeholder. Click here to fill out our form. You can also upload your own image if you wish. I like this. Just keep it. You can just with the height to align it left, right and center or make it full. I like it center. You can add alt text is a short description of the image. Let's just add some text. Let us know the background is white. You could change it to black or any other color. If you click the plus add button here, and then you can select your color code here. I would like to give it white for now. 
the padding again, turn it on or off. And down here, it would be again the title for the form in order to find the correct tracking in a minute. Okay, we can keep it at Kalenga Free Dessert because that's simply the name of the form. Okay, now let's send the campaign and let me show you how the statistics look like. Click send or schedule top right corner. And here you want to fill out your details, sender email, sender name, subject line, all of that usual stuff. We want to track links always. Then you want to choose a contact and then just let it send. All right, and here we go. Here's the email already. It's starting at the top with the form. Let's click on that. A new window pops up and people can leave their data here in order to claim that free dessert, for example. Hey, then next up, how satisfied are you with our website? Five star rating, let's say four stars. And because we've set google.com as the custom URL to forward people after they rated, then they will obviously see Google. Let's scroll further down. Let's say we liked the answer of all the questions. Here we have also set Google to the custom URL, the direct, and then let's rate the overall performance of our software. Here we have the default one. So I wanted to show you that too. So let's say it's 10 and hey, submission successful. Thank you for submitting the feedback. Okay. Now let's go into statistics and let's actually check all of this data. To access this, you want to click on marketing on the left, emails at the top, and you can see under campaigns, you can see templates and statistics at the top here. So click on stats. Then scroll all the way down to the bottom, select the email campaign, then click on load more statistics. And right here, you can see submissions. Here you can see the ratings. Okay. Somebody clicked on the free dessert form. Somebody gave a response on the star rating. Somebody gave a response on the like or dislike, and somebody gave a response on the MPS survey. Let's click the drop down menu. And you can see the submission under form right here. You click that one and it will immediately forward you to sites, forms, and submissions. There is nothing here because I didn't actually fill out the form, right? Typically, my data would be here if I would have filled out the form. Now let's go back to stats. Click the drop down menu under the star rating. Here you can export the responses as well. Click export and the CSV file has been downloaded. Let's open that one up and here you can see all the details of the responses. Let's go back to the stats. The same for like or dislike. You can export it right there. And the same for the survey. You can just click the export button. You can also click score. And then here you can see more details and click export again. And that's it already. This is how you implement surveys and inline forms into the email builder. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video.